SBR Forum videos. I'm Peter Loshak. We are continuing our spring training coverage with Doug Upstone right now, who of course is on the scene, on location in Arizona, covering spring training with us remotely. Doug, thanks for being back with us. Hey, Peter, my pleasure to be back here. And uh, right now, the Cincinnati Reds are ahead three to one in mm -hmm. the sixth inning against San Francisco here in uh, downtown Scottsdale. Yeah. All right. Well, we covered Cincinnati once already uh, so far this spring training. And in general, we were sort of lukewarm on them. You know, they lose Shin Su Chu. And the big question with Cincinnati is, you know, the starting pitching. They have some some horses in the in the starting rotation. Their bullpen took a little bit of a dip last year from two years ago, and it was the number one ranked bullpen in baseball. The question is just, is their offense going to be able to keep up we're not really convinced what have you seen so far yeah I, I mean that's still the big question you know is going to be the offense you know and and w what they get out of the top of the order and i think uh, the new manager brian price he has some interesting work to do and i think one of the things he's going to have to do is try and convince joey Votto, uh, even though he has boxed before to uh, expand his strike zone especially with runners in scoring position you know he needs to drive in a hundred runs not the 73 he had last year and at the top of the order whether it be billy hamilton who's going to be you know likely the the leadoff hitter and play center field for them you know if he's hitting 235 that's going to be a problem because yeah. uh, he has the speed i mean I, I literally don't think there's a catcher that can throw him out you know on just a normal everyday steal but if he hits 250 and 265 and draws some walks you know now they have something going on offense yeah, I'll tell you, I'm thinking uh, that the Reds are going to be overvalued this year. Last year they were about even, they were slightly unprofitable. Which pitchers do you think might be good uh, pitchers who might be overvalued this year? Uh, Cueto, yeah. you know, he's been a little more injury prone, you know, the last couple of years. Now, in terms of the undervalued, uh, I definitely like Matt Latos mm -hmm. and Tony uh, Sagrani. Mm -hmm. I, uh, Sagrani pitched today, and uh, he's he's sharp. I mean, he's a good-looking left-hander, very smooth delivery, can move the ball up and down in the zone, and uh, has a really good curveball so I think you know the days that he pitches I let's just say I think figuratively he's going to be either probably their four starter and if, if he's uh, up against other four starters on a regular basis uh, I'll bet on him you know pretty much most every time I mean he's that good mm -hmm. and Matt, Matt Latos last year proved you know that he was he could really compete and get out there and do the job done he pitched at least six, six innings in 28 of his 32 starts so you know he did his best to help the team and like you said the bullpen was down a little bit but I think you know you'll see a bounce back with probably with a few fewer injuries and with uh, Chapman at the, on the back mm -hmm. end you know that can lead to victories as well for the Reds. All right thanks so much Doug. Up, so I'll talk to you again very soon.